The show begins by showing a beautiful place in Mongolia. It's the year 2013, and the camera focuses on a wrestling ring where a strong fighter is defeated by a lively little girl named Seksek. And Seoul Mam Soon's dad, Gang Bongo, feels sad for taking the little girl to Mongolia, where he lost her. Nam Soon's mom, Huan Jonju, a wealthy CEO, plans to organize a strength competition for girls to find Nam Soon. In Mongolia, someone takes a photo of Seksek, Nam Soon, triggering memories of her family photos. Bongo tells a reporter about Nam Soon's super strength, a trait passed down to women in the family. Junju, the rich CEO, runs a pawn shop. Two men show her a sword, claiming it's a historic artifact. She agrees to check it after an expert appraises it. The men ask for money for surgery, but they turn hostile when she opens her safe. With quick moves, she throws them out. Talking to the reporter, Bongo shares how Junju used to run a hangover suit shop. They fell in love, got married, and had two kids. Namin and Nam Soon. Nam Soon, strong like her mother, became Bongo's inspiration. They took her to Mongolia, and she got lost, leading to Bongo and Junju's divorce. Meanwhile, Sekseg's adoptive parents recount finding her riding a horse at age five or six, crying and calling for her papa, which they thought was the horse's name. They show Nam Soon the clothes with a tag saying Korea. Later, she watches TV from Korea and memories from her past come back. This helps her remember her real name. She decides to learn Korean, make money, and go to Korea. As time passes, Nam Soon grows up. Her dad suggests she get married and go to Korea, but she insists on marrying a Korean man. Back in Seoul, the strength competition continues, and Junju thinks the winning girl might be Nam Soon. She talks to the girl Hwaja during a meal and becomes more convinced when she learns Hwaja came from Mongolia and has the same blood type. Junju calls her family to meet Nam Soon. From a talk between the journalist and another person, we find out that DNA tests may not be accurate for the family due to a chromosome issue. Apparently, many people now know about the search for Nam Soon because of the yearly contest. Hwaja is taken to a very rich home and shown a fancy room. She happily jumps on the bed, but when alone, her expression becomes more sinister. Nam Soon's grandma, Gil Jongan, tells Junju that Hwaja might be pretending. After all, all the information about Nam Soon was in newspapers for years. Bongo says Nam Soon should have a scar on her foot from jumping off the roof. This leads to an argument between the ex-couple about who took better care of the kids. Even Namin is brought into it as they argue about him being overweight due to a lack of motherly love. In Mongolia, Nam Soon practices introducing herself. She later learns her parents sold all the sheep to pay for her trip to Korea. Nam Soon steps outside and is upset to see her horse dying. After he passes, she throws the bell he used to wear into the air and sighs. The bell makes its way to Korea and hits a policeman on the head. Nam Soon's parents say a sad goodbye to her. Meanwhile, Jomju takes Hwaja shopping and gives her a new look. At Jomju's work, a woman asks for money urgently, and Jomju, sensing the woman's desperation, agrees to lend her the money. The policeman, along with others, leaves the station. Jomju, dressed in black, also heads out on a bike. The woman drives a car next to another car, exchanging money for a small red casing, possibly drugs. The policeman, observing this, chooses to help the woman when her driving becomes unsteady instead of going after the drug dealers. Junju arrives and confronts the drug dealers, giving them a fitting punishment. The policeman arrives just in time to witness her effortlessly moving the entire car with one hand. At the police station, there's a report of drugs coming on a flight from Mongolia. Nam soon boards that very flight. On the plane, we also see a rich CEO named Ryu Shio. The police wait at the airport and are informed that something is wrong, the plane isn't slowing down. Junju assures Hwaja of getting her a driver's license and a car soon. When Hwaja asks about Nam Soon's super strength, Junju mentions Nam Soon's special abilities like flipping a car when she was five. At the airport, the plane lands but doesn't slow down. Nam Soon takes charge, jumps off the plane, and as Junju describes her incredible strength, she runs with super speed, grabbing the plane's wheel to stop it. Magical lines appear on Nam Soon, her mother and grandmother, and their eyes change color. At the airport, Ryu Shio witnesses Nam Soon's heroic act. After averting the disaster, Nam Soon casually walks away, wiping sweat off her brow. Nam Soon shows incredible strength by stopping the plane. Back home, Jong In hurries to Jomju and asks if she or Hwaja use their powers. Junju says no. At the airport, Nam Soon undergoes a bag check for the drug investigation. The policeman from earlier, he sick, takes away things including hair and bone from her horse and a golden staff. Nam Soon won't let go of the staff as she needs it to find her mother. He sick promises to help find her mother and return, and she agrees to let him take it. 
Nam soon goes to Gangnam's plan and is very happy. With money from her Mongolian parents, she rents an apartment for three months. Junju tells her secretary, Nae Young, that women in the family can sense when someone uses a lot of their power. She instructs Nae Young to follow Huanja. Standing on a bridge, Nam soon uses her super sight to look at people in the city. She shouts into the sky that she's going to find her parents no matter what. At the forensic department, He Sik confirms that Nam Soon's things are as she said, the staff is pure gold. He then gets a call about the woman on the bike who confronted the drug dealers, Junju. Junju tries to contact Ms. Park, the woman who took the drugs. When she reaches her apartment, the woman has jumped out the window. Later, two detectives discuss how the woman jumped due to hallucinations, not suicide. However, no drugs were found. Junju goes back to her office and her employee asks about Ms. Park's death. She explains that she started her vigilant business to attract good karma for Nam Soon, and now she needs to see it through to the end. Hisik tries to call Nam Soon, but can't reach her. Strangers show up at Nam Soon's nice apartment, and she realizes she's been tricked. The fake real estate agent not only took her money, but also her phone and passport. Back at home, Huanja sneaks into Junju's secret room. The secretary catches her and warns her not to come back. Huaja notices a big safe that only opens with Junju's fingerprint. Nam Soon walks around the city, feeling disappointed. However, she soon reaches a park near the Han River and mistakes people's camping tents for permanent homes. Using random materials from around the place, she builds herself a tent that looks like a Mongolian gur. He sick meets his colleague Young Tak at Bong Go's photo studio. While waiting, he sees photos of a young Nam Soon but misses the one where she's holding the golden staff. He gets called back to the station and Bong Go gives him a discount coupon. Nam Soon reports the theft at the police station. She tries to find out about He Sik, but gets his name wrong, calling him Kanai Sik. At the police station, detectives discuss how the tip about drugs from Mongolia was wrong. He Sik disguises himself as a woman with young tack pretending to be his husband. He follows a woman with a baby into the baby changing room and sees her leave a bottle of fake baby formula. He catches her and follows her to the parking lot where her contact is waiting. They catch the man trying to drive away. Nam soon returns to her new home to find a pair of bohemians living there too. She ends up offering to make them another juror and they take her to a place that offers free meals. He sick leaves a message for Nam soon. Later he questions Mr. Sang, the man they arrested, who claims not to know about the drug distributors. He sick checks Mr. Sang's phone for more evidence. In a lab, a man shows another man in a suit a new synthetic drug. He explains it should be taken through the ear to avoid detection in the bloodstream and is more powerful than most drugs. He sick finds the policewoman who took Nam Soon's statement and learns what happened to her. He asks her to call him if Nam Soon returns. The bohemian couple is thrilled when Nam Soon builds them a gur. Other people protest the jurors because they dislike homeless people. When they try to take the jurors down, Nam Soon fights them off. The police get involved and everyone ends up at the police station. Nam Soon breaks down in tears, realizing that people aren't always nice. Just as she's about to despair, He sick arrives. They sit together outside, and Hisik returns Nam Soon's staff. When she asks if he'll really help find her mother, he says he will. Meanwhile, Huanja brags about stealing from Junju while having drinks with men. Junju's secretary, Nae Young, listens to everything through a bug. Hisik convinces Nam Soon to take some of his money and live in a proper room instead of her juror. He gives her the photo studio coupon Bongo gave her for a new passport picture. When she asks where he lives, he points to the top floor of a nearby building. Back at the police station, when a senior officer wants the gurus removed, he sick repeats what Nam Soon told him, that the police should focus on protecting citizens' rights instead of kicking out the homeless. At home, he talks to his co-worker and asks for a list of girls who went missing in Mongolia. Later, he plays music and dances in his underwear. Unbeknownst to him, Nam Soon uses her super sight to see exactly what he's doing and has a good laugh. In the morning, Nam Soon goes to have breakfast with the bohemian couple. Meanwhile, Gil jong -gan tries to leave in her car, but finds it blocked by another car. When she calls the owner of the parked car, he's rude and insults her. She moves the car with one hand, but then goes a step further, turning the owner's car upside down when he comes by later. Joomju is picking earrings for her outfit when her secretary tells her about the dress code at the Heritage Club. They discuss Waja and Joomju seems upset to hear the confirmation that she isn't her daughter. But Joomju is sure her real daughter is in Korea somewhere nearby. On her way out, Huaja asks if she can invite friends over and Junju agrees. He sick meets Nam Soon and gives her a phone she can use. She reveals she saw him dancing in neon undies, surprising He sick. Junju enters the Heritage Club wearing tennis shoes with an evening gown. In her toast, she says she wants a world where everyone can have money. She leaves and goes to a different part of the building. 
About to enter a room with a wooden door, someone taps her shoulder. The man gives her a business card and tells her to go there if she really wants to change the world. Namsoon looks for job listings when he's sick calls and reminds her to get her photo taken. Namsoon goes to Bongo's photo studio, but he's just closing. When he takes a look at her face, something stops him. Elsewhere, in a lab, Ryu Shio tests the new drug by putting it inside his ear. 